Let's talk about preparing your scales and arpeggios. Many of you already know that scales and arpeggios are the most important thing that we hear at all of our auditions. And every time you audition for us, whether you're auditioning for the program, or auditioning for advancement in the program, or auditioning for your position in the Portland Youth Philharmonic at our screened auditions, scales play a critical role in how the conductors evaluate your performance. So let's talk about how you approach scale performance and practice. If you saw my audition video, you will have heard that I played a two octave scale very slowly and very steadily. And that is how you should prepare them. Not necessarily the two octaves should go as wide a range as you can. So I would start with a heavily subdivided use of your metronome, which you must always use, something like this. Let's do A flat major. it was right with the clicks and that the subdivisions were right there. The next thing, uh, if you have that down, is to start removing some of the clicks. You can go down to just the, the beats and off beats, but I prefer when you just get to the off beats alone. So the same scale, when I won't play all of it, will sound like this. We don't really need to hear them faster than that. Uh, as you're preparing them, particularly for you woodwind players, but it's not so different for brass, the finger motion should be very, very rapid, not slow. It should be snappy and not percussive or violent, but fast. Well, the connections between the notes are clean and clear. The tempo at which you will be able to execute this will change over time. You will get faster. And with the fast finger motion, you will uh, be able to maintain the same motion. You won't have to change it as you go faster. So all the, all the same finger motion. Uh, work with your teachers on this if you have the chance and continue to practice and prepare and use scales and arpeggios to extend your range higher and for some of you lower. Uh, challenge yourself and never play faster than it's 100% controlled. It should always sound perfect. Let's talk about the air. Air is the most important thing in wind playing. You have to sustain the air through the scale as if you were sustaining one solid tone. So uh, let's use our metronome again. A one octave scale, the air is this. <laughs> Try that. Remember the physical feeling of supporting right from all the way down to the base of your diaphragm all the way through the, the bell of your instrument and then maintain that exact physical feeling and just move your fingers. So anytime you hear, you are not sustaining, sustaining the sound. And it, it can be a little better than that and still not be as correct as it needs to be. Putting air through the notes is the most important thing in preparing other than uh, clean fingers and exact rhythm. So keep up that sort of practice and good luck. <laughs>